hey guys welcome back so we are looking at uh, a new series here in dale 3 which is create brand logos with dale 3 so we are looking at the first one which is uh, you don't have to go to dale 3 uh, this one you can just go to gpt4 default and you can upload the logo of your choice and have gpt describe the style for it so basically you can say i want to generate a logo similar to this one Describe the Dale 3 prompt to achieve this. So I can go here and I have Snapchat's logo. If you Google it, you will find it. Or if you want any other company's logo, you can provide it. And you can just say uh, this. So you would get the prompt with which uh, you would do this. So why I am showing you this? With GPT-4, reverse engineering logos and Dale 3 generating options, you can create professional identities um, inspired by your favorite brands for your own custom brands. So basically what I can do here is I can just copy it and let's go to Dale, Dale 3 here. And now I'm just typing back the prompt what I got from GPD-4 as input here. So I'm just reverse engineering what I got back into here. So you, you will see how this generation would look like. Cool. So we got it. If you want, you can say white background or whatever you want to uh, do it. You can provide that. So one more thing I wanted to show you here is and there's another brand I tried. So you can play around with this. So basically, uh, next is I already switched over to Dale 3. I showed you that of GPT GPT 4 and used the generated description to the prompt. So choose the type of logo you want. And if you want a specific brand, you got uh, the way how to how you can get it. And you can add details about your company to make the output more relevant. So there are three types of logo you need to be aware of. One is letter, right? So I can just copy paste this and I can say this one, uh, a letter mark of a letter V logo. And you can specify what font you want, what type you want and simple or concentric or there are various other types you can play around with it. So this is basically one way of getting it and it will generate this one for us. So let's assume your brand's name is Victory. You want uh, to use V as your uh, logo. You can do that as shown here. Similarly, I can also specify a, mask um, a mascot logo of a tiger, simple vector white background. So it will provide me this one. And this one is called a mascot logo type. The third one is an emblem. So I will also come to that. We will play around with it for a motorcycle vector, simple black and white. So these are the three types of logos you need to be aware of. And on top of it, uh, you can play around with uh, various other color combinations. If you don't like the style, if you want uh, different uh, variant of the existing one you can play around with it so that's basically generate logo ideas and for tiger i will show you the uh, next follow-up i you can do with it so i can just call it my company is tiger analytics which provides AI solutions to customers uh, to improve their operating margins, right? And I can go here and copy this and I can say, can you enhance this prompt with additional information provided okay so i can provide this similarly you can play around with uh, your different business ideas because 
I can't cover all business ideas. Each one of you have your own business ideas. So you can do it and you can get a color if you don't like it. Play around with, change the color combinations, change the text. And once you are done, you can always go and download that image. And uh, sometimes Dali 3 is pretty quick. Sometimes it takes time. So you just need to be patient with this. So yeah, so I got, uh, so Tiger Analytics text right here. Here the word is wrong. So let me also change it to the first one here. If you go here, if you just download this, that's your logo and you can play around with it. So yeah, if I open this, the pine should show this. So, and I can just say for image one, can you show time and money optimization in a jungle? So let's see if if they, if it can do that. So yeah, like whatever output you get, if you want to refine it with your own input or you want to add more additional uh, details to the existing image, you can do that. And I think DALE 3 handles that scenario. And that's, I think you, you might have used Adobe or uh, Figma and other tools to do it. But again, it's uh, up to you what works for you. So yeah, it gave me some ideas. If you don't like it, keep iterating it multiple times so that you can get what you want. So this is one way you can reverse engineer logos and DALE 3 generating options to create professional logos for your favorite brands or for your existing brand. I hope this helps. Thank you for joining.